To simplify his appliance management with REST API, we created in Flex5 a new type of user account called Service. And as the name implies, this account is meant for servicing appliance. Service account is created by converting a regular user account. The service account's associated API token inherits the account's roles. During the conversion, the token's maximum time to live must be defined. Once converted, the web user interface access is removed and only API login is permitted. The conversion cannot be reversed. The service account lends itself well for customers managing multiple appliances where user credentials are controlled by an external authority such as Active Directory or LDAP. A typical workflow starts with a user um, login. Next, appliance forwards user credentials to AD or LDAP for authentication. If authentication is successful, appliance issues a service token with the requested time to live. At this point, the service token can be used for management and monitoring tasks. The service token is not tracked by the appliance and it cannot be revoked. However, its time to live cannot exceed or be equal to the maximum value specified at the time of service account creation. Generally, the service token can have a TTL just long enough to execute and complete the required tasks. To change a user account to service account, simply select it. Choose Convert to Service Account, specify maximum time to live and click Convert. Notice that the account icon changes to indicate the new service account. Now we are ready to generate service token by sending account credentials along with tokens time to live. We can copy the service token and assign its value to flexadmin-service-token variable. And for example, we can use it to retrieve NetBackup instance information. We notice that our instance with ID CAJJ is still version 10.3.0.1. So let's see if this NetBackup version can be upgraded to 10.4.0.1 by running PreCheck. Keep in mind that NetBackup image 10.4.0.1 has been already uploaded to the appliances repository. Okay, it looks like PreCheck is successful, so we're ready to upgrade. Once the upgrade process is initiated, Appliance will return the task ID, which we use to monitor the progress. Checking the task status, we can see that upgrade has not yet completed. The task is also visible in Appliance web user interface and activity monitor panel. Another task status check shows the task completion, and we also have an upgrade completion notification. Verifying the NetBackup instance, the current version is shown with a pending status. Also, upgrade auto commit time value is displayed. This is the number of seconds left before the newly installed NetBackup version will be automatically committed, making rollback to the previous version impossible. We can let the timer expire in 24 hours, or after checking net backup functions, commit the new version ourselves. And just like before, appliance will return the task ID. The task log shows us that commit was successful. REST API makes complete appliance administration possible. Service account and associated service token make the management simple, secure, and flexible.